One of the most common hits that we have are medical isotopes, whether it's somebody that just had a stress test and they're got Tech 99 or an, somebody with a thyroid treatment of iodine-131. That's the majority of the hits that we have. The SPRD allows us to quickly adjudicate those hits. I can quickly ID that, determine if the person, if it fits, then we don't escalate. But if I'm getting multiple hits off the same person, then that's a good point for me to get a secondary piece in for additional identification. And the SPRD does that really, really well. The app is tethered to the SPRDs through this Bluetooth back. A really nice feature about the app is it's, it allows me to operate the SPRD in a low, visual, or low um, visibility type of an operation where maybe I'm in plain clothes. I'm doing a special event. I don't want it to make noise, but I do want it to alarm. And the app allows me to do that. So in the case of an alarm, if I'm tethered to the app, I'll have an alarm show up, whether it's on my phone, in this case it's on the tablet, I'll have the counts per second, and I can, just like a million other people, be looking at my phone and using the counts per second, I can slowly pivot and try to determine the location where the radiation is coming from, and that will help me um, adjudicate that to try to find it, or at least narrow it down. The second part of the app is once I have ID'd, I have an event log right here. And the event log allows me to open it up. It'll geotag where the hit took place. It'll tell me the um, specific alarms that I had. It will tell me my accumulated dose, the dose rate, the gamma count rate. All really important stuff, especially in the, in the realm of emergency response. And then if I need to, I can export that data out. The nice part about the app too, is that I'm able to export alarms from the app through either email, I can send it to radiation triage, if that's what my protocol is, or I can send it to rad responder, depending on what the agency's protocols are.